It was the dawn of the 20th century, a time when automobiles were revolutionizing the way we traveled. In the midst of this transformative era, two legendary brands were born, Rolls-Royce and Bentley. Let's rewind the clock and uncover the extraordinary origins of these automotive icons. Welcome to this edition of Money Thinkers. The pursuit of perfection lies at the heart of every Rolls-Royce story, and it begins with two men, Charles Rolls and Henry Royce, who shared a passion for creating the very best automobiles the world had ever seen. Charles, the youngest son of a wealthy British family, was charismatic and ambitious. A born performer, he set land and airspeed records in his early 20s and dreamt of crafting the finest automobile that would capture people's imagination. Henry, a humble engineer from a working class background, had a gift for invention and an unwavering dedication to quality. He believed one could find perfection through tireless innovation, pushing technologies to their absolute limits. When Charles visited Henry's small automotive shop in 1903, little did they know it would be the start of an epic friendship and a legendary brand. Henry's first cars had amazed Charles with their durability and reliability. He saw in Henry a kindred spirit who shared his pursuit of perfection through automotive excellence. So, in 1904, Charles and Henry joined forces. They named their partnership Rolls-Royce and set out to raise the bar for the entire industry. Their vision was simple, yet ambitious, to create the best car in the world. A car that is quiet, comfortable, and requires no maintenance. A car that simply works. A car powered by an engine so refined, it seemed to run without effort or sound. This seemingly impossible dream became the driving force behind everything Rolls-Royce, an unrelenting focus on innovation, craftsmanship, and quality that would define the mark for over a century. But it all started with two men, Charles, the visionary salesman, and Henry, the humble engineer, opposites who complemented each other perfectly. Together, they embarked on a quest that would change automotive history forever. Meanwhile, over a decade later in 1919, another visionary, Walter Owen Bentley, embarked on his own journey to craft remarkable automobiles that exuded elegance and power. Bentley's pursuit of speed and performance became the cornerstone of his brand's identity. Right from the start, Rolls-Royce and Bentley pushed the limits of automotive engineering. They revolutionized technologies that would define luxury motoring for generations to come. Some of their earliest inventions include the first V-shaped engine for smooth power delivery and the innovative use of aluminum for reduced weight. These technologies enabled their cars to achieve new heights of refinement, comfort, and performance. As they entered the roaring 20s and 30s, Rolls-Royce and Bentley became engines of innovation they developed features still considered cutting-edge today, like independent front suspension and hydraulic brakes. But it was under the hood where they truly revolutionized the automobile. Developments like the first-ever V12 engine in 1925 and the legendary BMW Straight 8 in 1931 put Rolls-Royce and Bentley in a class of their own. These smooth, powerful power plants were pieces of engineering art. They unleashed gobs of torque effortlessly, while remaining surprisingly quiet, owners were lulled into a false sense of peace, unaware of the colossal forces lurking beneath the hood. Over the decades, Rolls-Royce and Bentley kept raising the bar. They pushed the boundaries of aerodynamics, reduced vibrations to indiscernible levels, and fine-tuned every nut and bolt until their cars glided down the road in sublime silence. Through groundbreaking innovations, from all-weather capabilities to cabin comforts, Rolls-Royce and Bentley refined what an automobile could be. They became technological trailblazers that pioneered advancements later adopted by the wider industry. Above all else, they demonstrated that engineering perfection indeed lies within reach, if only we pursue it relentlessly. It's time for you to drop a comment letting me know. If money were no object, which of these two legendary brands would you choose and why? Go on, make your case in the comments. You know you want to. For all their technological brilliance and automotive magic, Rolls-Royce and Bentley also experienced periods of great struggle and uncertainty. 
The Great Depression of the 1930s hit Rolls-Royce particularly hard. Car sales plummeted as few could afford Rolls-Royces that cost the equivalent of small homes at the time. Factories laid idle and unemployment spiked. Yet, Rolls persevered. They diversified into new markets, making aircraft engines that became vital for Britain's war industry. They also acquired Bentley, combining the talents of both legendary marks. During World War II, Rolls-Royce and Bentley engines played a pivotal role, powering everything from Spitfires and Lancaster bombers to tank engines that helped liberate Europe. Factories switched to all-out military production overnight. Workers risked their lives as German bombs rained down on production facilities. But it was also during this dark hour of history that Rolls-Royce and Bentley engineers achieved miraculous technological feats. They developed aluminum alloys, jet turbines, and superchargers that shaped modern aviation. When peace finally returned, Rolls-Royce and Bentley emerged stronger than ever. Their wartime contributions imbued the brands with a new sense of history and purpose. While producing cars of unparalleled luxury once more, Rolls-Royce and Bentley now carried the legacy of legions of workers and brave engineers who helped shape the course of history. For decades, luxury car enthusiasts had the privilege of expressing their preference, Bentley or Rolls-Royce, each representing the pinnacle of automotive opulence. The Rolls-Royce Spirit of Ecstasy or the Bentley Flying Bee, it was a choice that spoke volumes about one's taste and style. As the world recovered from the Great Depression, Rolls-Royce and Bentley continued to captivate hearts and minds. Their shared legacy of craftsmanship and attention to detail set new standards for the automotive industry. Even in the midst of crisis and upheaval, these iconic brands found ways to innovate, pivot, and persevere. Their engineers solved problems that powered Britain's defiance and eventual victory. In the end, world wars and economic depressions merely served to temper Rolls-Royce's and Bentley's steel making them resilient, adaptable, and ready to write the next chapter in their storied legacy. On the horizon, however, a storm was forming. In the 1970s, Rolls-Royce got into financial troubles due to issues with their aircraft engine programs. The British government stepped in to nationalize Rolls-Royce in 1971, taking control of the company. However, the government wanted to sell Rolls-Royce to return it to private ownership. In 1980, Vickers Engineering emerged as the lead bidder to acquire Rolls-Royce's automotive division. Vickers's bid centered around their plan to revitalize Rolls-Royce's flagging car sales and refresh the aging model lineups. They also intended to leverage synergies between Rolls-Royce, Bentley, and other Vickers brands like Jaguar. The British government approved Vickers' acquisition of Rolls-Royce Motors in 1980. This gave Vickers ownership of both the Rolls-Royce and Bentley brands. Under Vickers' ownership from 1980 to 1998, Rolls-Royce and Bentley released several new vehicles based on common platforms. However, Vickers struggled with implementing their turnaround plan. The brands faced declining sales and image problems, and Vickers had to make a decision that would forever alter the landscape. Vickers Engineering decided to sell the automotive company, and potential buyers emerged from all corners of the globe. Among them was the Volkswagen Group, a powerhouse known for its diverse portfolio of automotive brands. But there was another player on the field, BMW. The renowned German automaker had its eyes set on acquiring Rolls-Royce Motors, seeing it as a prestigious addition to their lineup. However, fate had a twist in store. In a surprising turn of events, Volkswagen won the bid and acquired the Rolls-Royce and Bentley brands. It seemed that Rolls-Royce and Bentley would remain united under a new owner. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. While Volkswagen gained ownership of the brands, they did not secure the rights to the Rolls-Royce name and logo. This little nuance opened the door for BMW to make a strategic move. They seized the opportunity to secure the Rolls-Royce name and logo from the aerospace company that held the rights. Picture this. Two automotive giants locked in negotiations, each vying for control of the iconic Rolls-Royce name. It was a battle of wits, a game where the stakes were nothing short of preserving the heritage and legacy of the brand. And so, after intense discussions and high-stakes brinkmanship, a resolution was reached. BMW acquired the rights to the Rolls-Royce name, leaving Volkswagen with the Bentley brand and the factories. When BMW acquired Rolls-Royce in the late 90s, many doubted they could do the historic mark justice.
Could BMW truly live up to Rolls-Royce's legacy of luxury and innovation? BMW understood that in order to revive Rolls-Royce, they first had to preserve what made it special. So they invested heavily, building a new factory in Goodwood, England, and filling it with the world's finest craftsmen and engineers. In design, BMW drew from Rolls-Royce's rich history while infusing their own Bavarian flair. On the Phantom, their first Rolls model under BMW, they incorporated the classic long hood and short overhangs that define Rolls proportions, chrome accents and styling cues from vintage roller models, the iconic Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament, an evolved version of the famed twin-spoke Rolls-Royce wheel. Under the hood, BMW merged cutting-edge technology with tradition. Rolls-Royce is now featured. Powerful, BMW-derived V12 engines with era-defining torque and refinement, next-gen transmissions, all-wheel drive and intelligent assistance, advanced electronics for enhanced safety, reliability, and performance. But BMW didn't stop there. They doubled down on Rolls-Royce's reputation for innovation. They tested new ultra-luxury materials, including exotic leathers and silks from 17 different countries. They obsessed over every detail, from invisible door hinges and micro-stitched seams to the quietest engine room in the industry. In the end, BMW's Rolls-Royce's blended iconic design elements with state-of-the-art engineering. They honored Rolls-Royce's past while paving the way for an electrified future. Under BMW, Rolls-Royce roared back to life. The mark once again came to signify automotive opulence, peerless craftsmanship, and limitless innovation. BMW had breathed new soul and spirit into one of motoring's greatest icons. And thus, the world witnessed the unfolding of a remarkable chapter in automotive history. The split between Rolls-Royce and Bentley gave birth to a new dawn, where the Rolls-Royce brand would thrive under BMW's stewardship, and Bentley would continue its own legacy within the Volkswagen family. BMW and Volkswagen's acquisitions of Rolls-Royce and Bentley were driven by strategic long-term visions for the brands. For BMW, acquiring Rolls-Royce was critical to elevate their image and expand their range of ultra-luxury offerings. BMW saw an opportunity to revive a legendary brand with a century of prestige and cachet. However, BMW understood they had to treat Rolls-Royce differently than their other brands. They couldn't simply rebadge BMW vehicles with a Rolls badge. That would betray the mark's ethos. Instead, BMW aimed to rebirth Rolls-Royce as its own entity. They pledged to infuse each Rolls-Royce with the finest materials, unrivaled refinement, and BMW's precision engineering. Their vision was to restore Rolls-Royce to its rightful place as the world's most coveted nameplate. Meanwhile, for Volkswagen, acquiring Bentley, a maker of powerful, emotive vehicles, was a natural choice to diversify beyond mass-market brands. Volkswagen saw potential to revive Bentley's performance credentials using Volkswagen Group technologies while maintaining its exclusivity. They aimed to blend ultra-luxury, Volkswagen's economies of scale, and Bentley's rich history to transform the brand. Both BMW and Volkswagen ultimately saw the opportunity to reinterpret Rolls-Royce and Bentley for the next century. Not just revive old names, but revitalize them by challenging conventions and setting new benchmarks for the ultra-luxury segment. So what allows brands like Rolls-Royce and Bentley to survive for over a century? Is it their iconic heritage, a legacy that commands respect and admiration? Or is it their unrelenting focus on innovation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible through automotive excellence? Perhaps it's a perfect balance of heritage and progress, the ability to honor traditions that make them unique while progressing with the times through cutting-edge technologies. How do you preserve an essence, that spark that ignited a brand's vision while enabling it to thrive for generations? Rolls and Bentley have shown us that being faithful to your roots, an unyielding pursuit of perfection, power, and grace through automotive craftsmanship is key, but so is adapting and pushing boundaries, exploring new territories of luxury, technology, and performance. The brands that endure over a century are the ones that find ways to honor their heritage while keeping an eye on the future, the ones that preserve their soul while reinventing the body that houses it. 
So as we reflect on the epic tale of Rolls-Royce and Bentley, we're reminded of the magic that happens when creators dare to dream the impossible. When visionaries ignite a spark that defies time, surviving over a hundred years to inspire new generations, that, my friends, is a story worth remembering. I'd like to know your thoughts as well, so drop a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.